Don't do this at home. Today guys, we are trying out the JM's Nicaraguan. This is kind of a staple of inexpensive cigars. Whenever you walk into a brick and mortar store, you've usually got a decent selection of JM's. And even convenience stores and stuff like that, they'll have these inexpensive cigars. It smoke pretty good. <clears throat> so today, I am trying out the Nicaraguan for the first time. The one that you most often see is their Dominican one. And uh, they do like the, um, the uh, what would it be, like the uh, congratulations cigars, the boy or girl ones, you know, and stuff like that. So a, a pretty common sight. Um, but they're really an affordable cigar, and uh, the, the Dominican ones that I've had are pretty good, but I'm definitely excited to, uh, to try the Nicaraguan. Well, the specs are pretty easy. It's a straight Nicaraguan cigar, binder, wrapper, filler. This uh, is a Churchill, a 6.7 by 50 stick. And depending on where you're buying them, they're pretty, uh, pretty varied, somewhere in like the, the three to five dollar range probably. All right, the appearance is that of a cheap stick. The seams are a touch loose, bit of an imperfection with the double cap at the top. Somewhat toothy, but in general, just a, a pretty okay appearance. Pretty sweet aroma off of the wrapper. It's uh, The first hit you get of it is just extremely sweet, but then it kind of mellows out touch of cedar maybe on the wrapper as well. Uh, no need to cut or punch this because all JM cigars, at least that I've come in contact with, uh, come pre-punched. So handy, like if you're swinging by a cigar store and you just kind of want a quick, easy, cheap smoke, boom, don't even have to worry about uh, cutting the thing. All right, well, let's get lit. All right, first thoughts. <clears throat> I almost kind of forgot. Usually I check the pre-light draw and kind of see if there's anything to notice on the flavor there, but I didn't this time because I didn't cut it. it. threw me off. Uh, the draw is a little on the tight side, even for me. Really got to do a long, slow draw to really get that smoke up in there, but that's partially because it's such a long stick. Um, pretty medium and bodied so far. And honestly, it kind of tastes a little bit more Connecticut than it does Maduro. It is kind of a Colorado Maduro, but still. It's kind of cedary and kind of creamy. And uh, that's all I've really got out of it so far. <clears throat> Other than that tight draw, hopefully that loosens up later on. It does feel pretty tight right here at the head. We'll see. So uh, I'm gonna smoke it uh, for a little while here and uh, check in a little bit. Fifteen minutes in so far, guys. Pretty enjoyable stick so far. I'm actually really impressed with this burn here. <clears throat> I did lose a little bit of ash, just about you know the quarter inch mark, and it just kind of tapped off accidentally. So, but then it's kind of held together now. So, I don't know what that was about. Um, Flavor-wise, we're still kind of mild to medium flavor. The uh, Still kind of cedary and creamy, but with the addition of maybe a little bit of almond flavor in there as well. Really enjoyable stick, and uh, I'm not sure if the draw is loosened up or maybe if I've just kind of gotten used to the tight draw, but uh, not really all that noticeable anymore. But you do have to draw quite a bit, and if I'm being really critical, I wish it was a touch smokier. Not a whole lot of smoke output so far. So, we'll leave you with that, and uh, check in again in a little while. Hey guys, I am 49 minutes into this thing, probably nearing the halfway point at least. Still smoking pretty good. As you can see right now, the burn just went a little awry. <clears throat> Until then, it's just been perfect. Nice and uh, nice and easy on the draw. And uh, I didn't think it was possible, but I actually uh, gained smoke output as I was smoking it. So it's actually got a decent amount of smoke output now, which is what I was wishing for before. There it is. 
and uh, flavors really haven't changed. It's, it's pretty simple, um, but I will say maybe the flavor is amped up a little bit. You know, it's, it's, it's a medium to medium full flavored cigar at this point. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Pretty simple. I'll check in again at some point, whatever. That's all she wrote, guys. All right, pretty good stick. Let's talk about it. First third, kind of cedary, kind of creamy, medium body, and kind of medium flavored as well. Second third, the flavor amped up a little bit, kind of a medium full flavored cigar with the addition of uh, some almond flavor in there. The final third, finally saw just a touch of earth along with those other flavors. And the, the, the wood flavor was really prominent in kind of that second and final third. I almost transitioned to a little bit of almost oaky. It was a little bit stronger than just a plain cedar. Kind of hard to say though. Not distinctively Nicaraguan, if I have to be honest. Um, really the only thing that tasted really Nicaraguan about it was the, the, the earthiness that showed up in that final third. Up to that point, it just tasted good. Um, Performance wise, Actually better than expected. Had an almost perfect burn all the way down, aside from a couple times when it had a little bit of a runner. So no issue there. Started off with a really tight draw, but it loosened up. And uh, it also started out with not a whole lot of smoke output. And then that kind of blossomed as well. So for a cheap stick, really, really pretty good. Um, I'd say I probably prefer it over their Dominican line. So uh, if you're in the cigar shop looking for a cheap smoke, definitely uh, Pick up that uh, that Nicaraguan uh, JMs. You know, it's a it's a decent one. You know, it's not a premium premium stick, but it's you know it's just what it is. It's a, it's a cheap cigar that you know if you're doing stuff, you don't mind dropping it. Kind of like I did a couple times because I was standing in the shop working on a car and it's like, well, don't mind setting this on a block of wood or whatever you know while I'm messing around with stuff. So, um, and they come pre punched. So there you go, guys. Um, I just kind of want to mention that, I don't know if you guys know, I have an Instagram page, and uh, you can follow me, tech underscore 717. I know a couple of you guys do, um, but I'm always posting pictures of cigars and stuff like that, and I love talking with you guys in the comments there, just like I love talking with you in the comments down below. So if you haven't checked out my Instagram page, please do follow me. I'll follow you back. I love interacting with you guys and stuff like that. So um, of course, I'm going to say, if you're looking for cigars, check out Cigar Page. Click that link in the description below. Every time you guys do that, it helps me out. I really appreciate it. So uh, I'm going to leave you with that. The JM's Nicaragua. Pretty good stick. Happy smoking, guys.